all of them. Adam, how much do you think this team has grown since the last time you played the Dallas Stars? Um, yeah, you know, I, I think we've gotten better in our structure. We, we've gotten better in our all-around game. Uh, you know, we always talk about just trying to improve. We're trying to, you know, get incrementally better every day, and you know, I, I think we've done that. There's still areas of our game that uh, we, we want to continue improving, and there's areas of our game that we want to keep where they're at. And um, so, yeah, you know, I, I'm looking forward to, to playing them. It's it's always fun to play these Central Division games, and Dallas is a great team, and right there with them in the standings. So it uh, I just expect a, a really good game tonight. Adam, the significance of the night and obviously uh, what you're decked out in here, uh, here uh, you know, kind of exemplifies that. Uh, how am you've been around here for so many years and it seems like it's one of the big nights, if not uh, the biggest night of the regular season when it's hockey fights cancer. Yeah, you know, uh, it's a huge night. I think it's a disease that impacts pretty much everyone, whether, you know, in their immediate family, a friend or, or someone they know. So, you know, any, any chance we, we can you know, lend support, raise money, you know, it's a, it's a great cause. So, yeah, it's always a big night for us. When the stories are being told of the survivors, are you guys so locked in on the bench uh, that uh, maybe you don't hear them? Do you find out about, about them afterwards? And I would think it's still pretty inspiring, though. Yeah, there's, you know, I, I think usually before the game, the powerful messages, um, you know, extremely courageous individuals, uh, you know, a lot like the, the hospital visits at, puts a lot of things into perspective for us and um, you know there's things bigger than hockey there's you know people fighting for their lives and uh, you know it, it's it's a nice night to, to honor those people and you know like I said earlier lend our support uh, you know raise some money and you know come together as a community. Adam, during training camp um, you mentioned that improving your team play against slot chances slot shots was one of the areas that was uh, uh, I guess a point of emphasis for this season. 20 games in, how do you feel that the club has progressed in that area? Um, good, I think. I, I don't know the exact numbers or, or things like that, but you know, I, I think our five-on-five five play for the most part is it's been really good. I think, you know, defensively, you know, it's still not perfect. There, there's still areas that we want to improve upon, but you know, I, I think the way we end plays in our own end, the the chances we give up, the the way we're able to keep teams to the outside is has certainly improved and you know like I said it's an area that we're going to want to keep improving upon there's there's always reads you, you can make a little quicker you know a little faster that'll eliminate even more zone time so you know I, I think our defensive structure our defensive game has, has certainly improved you know the first quarter of the season um, and it's going to continue having to kind of stay where it is and, and get better we, we know you know there, there's a lot of great teams with a lot of great players up front that you know it's important that you limit their chances you limit their areas of the ice they can get to so um you know i, I like where we're at but you know i, I think we, we can still continue improving it looking at the, the the underlying numbers do you feel like you're making life easier on your goalies especially connor who obviously gets the more the majority of the starts yeah you know i i think the the just even from the bench or you know on the ice the, it feels like the the chances we're giving up aren't nearly as drastic as we have in years past or you know I, you know so um yeah i, I think we, we have made strides uh you know like i said it's going to be an area we'll continue focusing on and continuing trying to improve every day one big picture one adam this is a winnipeg is obviously a very knowledgeable hockey town do you feel like the way you guys are playing this year, the style, the brand of hockey is one that the fan base can certainly rally behind. That almost, you know, the identity of the community a little bit blue collar, hardworking. Um, yeah, you know, I, I think we, we'd hope they'd enjoy kind of any style, but uh, yeah, I, I think we're, we're a competitive team. We, we've played hard, we've been in every game, and you know, I, there, there's a commitment on both sides of the puck, I think. You know, a lot of the, the chances and a lot of things we've created come off of hard work. And, you know, whether that's puck tr retrievals, winning races, winning battles along the board, or, you know, a, a good back check leads to a good transition. Um, you know, I, I think the fans here, they, they've always supported us. And, you know, as long as you're, you're giving an honest effort and you're, you're showing up 
every night and you know putting your best foot forward uh, you know I expect that to continue Bones had uh, pretty long conversations with you and Josh prior to morning skate today uh, these messages in particular to the leadership core of the team um you know I, I think some of that's just catching up it's you know reintegrating bones back into the locker room you know getting caught up on you know everything and you know whether you know, it's just seeing how the meetings went or you know if they're a little different from our knees or you know anything else we needed to cover and things like that it's just a morning check-in I, I wouldn't read too much into it